Time to get Monday drunk. <laughs> Cheers, me. <laughs> Guy had a you great shut weekend. your phone off! Guy had a great weekend. He thinks he can just willy-nilly around a Monday video. Gosh darn idiot. Hello and welcome to yet again another Monday video where we eat stuff and attempt to entertain you for whatever reason. Kind of hyped about this one. I am too, so doing fans submitted sauces instead of just hot sauces on wings. Taco sauce? Taco sauce? Hot dog sauce? Wing sauce? <laughs> so we got hot dogs, wings, and tacos today on number six with cheese. I do have to say I officially made a bet against Sean the other day. I was like, there's no world. We're gonna find a place that's anywhere near this apartment that has both hot dogs and tacos. This son of a bitch walks right past the corner store down the street and what do they have written on their sign? <laughs> Daily tacos and hot dogs, baby. Every day, piping hot, made to order. Well, so what are we drinking today? We're drinking more of that Walmart beer, Cats Away IPA. And I gotta say, I don't care if it's Walmart. Me neither. This is pretty good. This I is know. A decent and IPA. And I will say, I looked up a little untapped, a little rate beer rating. Dude, it gets decimated. Just because? See, Probably. You guys are all just all mad because it's not like the microest of micro brews. Yep, yep. Unless it's made out of some homeless guy's freaking dumpster space, <laughs> then you don't even want No, too big of a brewery. Screw it. Nah. So if you don't want want yours and you've bought it, send it to this That's address mine. and we'll drink it. Mmm. It really is. I, I like that. I like that. Dude, I, some people, most people don't, but some people knock us for getting boneless wings at Wingstop. Dude, they're really, it's great chicken. It's fresh white meat. You put your own sauce on it. We get them plain. It's, I love it. Gotta have the bone. Gotta have it. Gotta feel like I'm ripping it off an animal's body. If I don't have that, I don't get no joy. Cash is another check for being a food reviewer. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. Not moving one cent further before I slip this little koozie on this delicious little beer. That, did you realize how genius it was when you just <laughs> did? Slipping one cent further. We were talking about money, and without fail, <laughs> you're not moving one cent further. Did you? <laughs> so that stupid, but it makes so much sense. Oh, that was genius. Genius, genius, genius. Speaking of us making money. <laughs> Speaking of geniuses. Sure, I'll have a drink. Koozies, 10 bucks in our store. All your money, no joke, goes straight to the show for us to get tacos and food and stuff. Get yourself one of those. Okay, so, can I use this random sweatshirt as a napkin? <laughs> no, I'll get paper towels. Yeah. Why my sweatshirt feel like chicken grease? <laughs> chicken, hot dog, steak tacos, what would you like to start with first? Uh, I kinda wanna knock this hot dog out. <laughs> Me too. I love I'm the way you open it. the next one then. We just got a traditional uh, grilled flat top. They made this fresh for us. Hot dog, we got grilled onions on it, but we didn't wanna take away from the the iconicness, I'm assuming, of this sauce with any ketchup, mustard, relish, anything else. So it's just onions, beef, hot dog. That's it, and bun. And that's it. Those onions do look pretty good, though. I like that. And I really like that. It comes out so lumpy. Lumpy sauce for your hot dogs. Hopefully it's good, but very lumpy. I don't hear a lot of people talk about how your sauce on your hot dog should be lumpy. Lumpy yeah, is not a word I like to describe much of anything. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Except yeah. for mashed potatoes. So this is lumpy. Ted's. Ted Lieros came from Greece and opened his first hot dog stand in Buffalo, New York over 85 years ago. Well, well, well. Thank you, Ted. Ted, let's see. That. This is the hot dog with Ted's hot dog sauce. Cheers. Cheers. That's good. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder what it is. It definitely has a ketchup base. Mm-hmm. Which I'm not a ketchup guy on hot dogs. But yeah, this concoction of ketchup and whatever else is in there. Kind of has- those onions are making it good. It has a consistency of ketchup, but it almost is like relishy. You know what I think it probably is? Hmm. A mix of like all of that. Ketchup is the first thing, then corn sweetener, vinegar, salt, seasonings, dehydrated onion, sweet relish, tomato puree. Yeah, so it's like everything you'd get. So that's kind of a personal preference. You know, I'm not a big ketchup guy on hot dogs. I like mustard and jalapeno jalapenos and onions and grilled onions. I'm with you. I don't I don't I'm not a big ketchup guy on anything really, but if it's already on there I'll eat it. I'm not I'm not anti ketchup by any stretch. But I will say that was pretty good. I'm okay with that. Right? As a not ketchup guy? Right, right. Which makes me think that if you like ketchup, yeah. then you're probably gonna think this is dope. I'd have to imagine. Yeah. The creaminess with the relish, but it has like a good sweet flavor. Yeah, there was something sweet in there, which you probably read off that ingredients while I was going out. And, and you know, ketchup is cornstarch, so it is kind of sweet anyway. Sure, that, sure. You know, Ted's, great job. That was very Ted's, good. Job well done. All right, next up, I think we should do a chicken wing. I want to end on this taco. Okay, yeah, I'm down with that. All right, and <laughs> drench me. <laughs> All right, we've had dust before. We really liked it. Cheers. 
Oh, that's a good flavor. Oh. This is amazing. It is a bit liquidy. It is. Which is, for me, in this particular circumstance, good for one reason and one reason only. Yeah. And that's that I hope it somehow washed the fact that you just had a fistful around uh, what the chicken I'm probably Rifling hot. <laughs> also, when they make the chicken with this, they like cook it with the sauce in it. Nobody just sure. no no just like us. Yeah, right. Duffs. Duffies. Chicken wings. Cheers. Cheers. Fantastic. Classic. Classic. Just classic. True buffalo taste. Mm-hmm. Mm. The sauce is so good, it actually makes me care about Amherst, New York. Mm-hmm. Because I'll tell you what, I don't normally. Mm -mm. Much like people from Amherst probably don't care about Chicago. Mm -hmm. But it makes me want to visit the, the distribution center and eat it all. I like a meaty wing. Don't give me no skinny chicken. It is just spot on when it comes to like that hot buffalo taste. And it's got a good heat too. Take the best buffalo sauce you've ever had in your life. Think of it. That's basically what this is. Yeah. It couldn't have done it mm -hmm. better. Great saltiness to it. Mm-hmm. That is the best of the buff, I would say. It's, it's good. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Dust. Nice job. Very good. And last but not least, cleanup hitter for today. Frank Thomas in it. With Mighty Tacos hot sauce. Perfect for tacos. Do they use the Toy Story font? Oh, you got a friend. <laughs> that look like the Toy Story font? That's <laughs> Is crazy. That the Toy Story font? I think they use the Toy Story font. <laughs> that was a great nab of knowledge. Yeah, right. This stuff is a little bit thicker. This is hard to watch, I'll be honest. I think I gotta do like a well, Heinz. Like a Heinz 57? Yeah, there you go. Oh, there, that worked. I'll do my own, I don't trust you. Yeah, dude, I wouldn't, I don't trust that bottle, bro. Hmm, interestingly enough, I would've done better. Yeah, but now I can say I did it myself. <laughs> He's a big boy! This has got uh, onions and cilantro. Why did you say it like that, ass? <laughs> Damn it, now I gotta wash my jeans. I got taco sauce on them. First time in 2018. <laughs> this is a steak taco from South Loop Market right in the corner with some of this amazing Mighty Taco hot sauce, we hope. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. It's a good little taco. It's a good little sauce. Not a lot of heat. Mm-mm. Man. Yeah. Not a ton of flavor. Yeah, I was afraid to say it first. At first I thought I was uh, enjoying the hot sauce. Now I think I was getting the cilantro. Me too. <laughs> Cilantro's so overpowering though. So this is just their kind of original. Getting a little bit of heat now. I've had a couple bites. Yeah, not a ton of flavor. Mm -mm. It kind of tastes like a hot sauce that would be on like just the table at a kind of bland Mexican restaurant. Yeah. I'm not getting like, and keep in mind, we've had like 400 hot sauces. Right. So, hmm. The middle of the road is kind of like very average to us, you know? Yeah, we've got a skewed perspective on it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's like the stuff they give to white people. Right. When I want the stuff they don't give to white people. Mm -hmm. I will say, great little taco for that corner. Salt store. loop. Keep it up, man. Great taco. You guys are doing good. It was two for six bucks. <laughs> Which, if you live in Chicago and you can get two tacos for six dollars, you're at a good place. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of like this. It's not bad. I tell you, it's the only one that I'm like, that on. It's got a good heat now that I've had a, like a lot of that whole taco. I can taste the heat, but yeah. I like to taste the heat while I'm eating it. And I like yeah, the, the yeah. heat to kind of like accent the, the the greases from the meat and the like spices from the right, cilantro. Right, right. But you now just be sitting here kind of like, I'm oh, now here's man. the heat now. I'm with you. I don't know. I am, because I'm getting that late heat too. It's not bad, it's it just kind of like, mouth? yeah, and it's like. Yeah, I'm getting that too, dude. Nothing wrong with it. No, I just wish I would have tasted it more. Like these two I tasted. They're distinct and good taste, you know? That, keep that in Toy Story land, man. We don't need that in the human world. Gluten free though, so if that's your thing. Water, tomato paste, vinegar, pepper, salt, spices, citric acid. So, yeah, so nothing really oh. jumping out to us. That's I great. think here's the flavor. They put the flavor right on the bottle. <laughs> I was about to say, I took footage of that over there. Oh, so you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blank. Yeah, I think, okay, that makes sense. That makes I did sense. say, um, I did see, this is really funny though. The best part of this, we used up all of our creative energy on our commercials and didn't know what to put here, so we intentionally left it blank. Blank. That's so that's funny. fun. At least you're funny about it. I do like that. I do like that. I like that. I mean, um, they're the writers of Toy Story. That's true. They probably are <laughs> sitting on billions, so. <laughs> when you create Buzz Lightyear, you're doing all right. <laughs> all right, so on the count of three, tell me your favorite sauce, maybe the one that you'd reach for the most. Uh, even though they're all three different things, you only sure. can pick one, which sure. one would it be? All right. One, two, three. 
Yeah. Uh, that's probably just, I suppose, preference out of like, generally speaking, between a chicken uh, wing sauce, a taco sauce, and hot dog sauce. Here's the thing. Go with that. These really, this really made chicken wings better. This didn't necessarily make the taco better. Mm. And this, I'd, I'd just give me mustard. I, but that's a preference thing. If you like relish and tomatoes a good point. and ketchup, you're gonna like Ted's. That's a good point. You I know, think, I think just, I agree with you on that, man. When I go to a baseball game and I get, like, if I can customize a dog, like get a big brat or whatever, it's grilled onions and mustard and onions. That's and what, what I can call it or hot dog sauce. Did I just say is, onions twice? <laughs> like in Toledo, I think, like, at least in my family, like, hot dog sauce, so if we said hot dog sauce, we're really talking about, like, Coney sauce. Chili. Like, we're talking about chili. Yeah, Detroit's on top the same way. Yeah, right? yeah. I don't need that. Give me, like give me Coney Island chili. Yeah. Yeah, we're like talking about Rudy's. We're like getting yeah, Rudy's yeah, sauce. Yeah, Lafayette, baby, you know? But regardless, a great Monday. Our weekend hasn't stopped. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. We're Are we acting rolling. like it has? Uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe on Tuesday we'll slow down. And uh, you know what? <laughs> we got plans tomorrow to go hard too, though. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Number Six with Cheese. And uh, here is the address if you'd like to send us stuff to the UPS store. We pick it up and open it. Um, yeah, koozies, shirts, all that stuff. Grab it. And on that note, share. Sure! Don't tell your boss. I'll have a drink. Quit telling them to drink at work, you guys. Please do not do that. I'm begging you. It'll be fun. No, getting fired is the worst. I've gotten fired from almost every job I've ever had in my life from really? drinking. No, I've never been fired. <laughs>